Hey guys, my name is Sachi Games, and welcome to a video. So, today we're going to be discussing the backlash of the GTA 5 remasters for PS5 and Xbox Series X and S. So, in case you're wondering, on June 11th or June 12th, there was a Sony PS5 digital event because of COVID. Not that they made the event because of COVID, but because it was digital. So, they announced GTA 5 for the PlayStation 5 on there, and I think I did a video about this a while back, like a few months ago, and it got a lot of backlash. And, uh, and I've been, and I have seen videos of it and stuff like that from, like, the actor, like, Ned Luke, who plays Michael in the game. So, I am going to share with you the video I was watching. I might leave a link to, to it in the description, I'm not sure. But I'm going to go to YouTube now and I'll just show you what I mean. I actually hit like the thing to record my PC. Anyway. So this is the tweet that Ned Luke sent out because of this video from I'm not sure what his name is, but I'll leave a link to it in the description below. But here's the tweet he said Memo to haters. Every year we get an entirely new batch of players slash fans. Some parent finally says yes to the kid who's been wanting to the game forever. If they have a PS5, they will need that version. Did it? Jesus. Now, shut the fuck up and can we please get back to SSX Tricky for PS5 hashtag period at 5.06pm on June 12th, 2020 from Sugar Hill G GA. Not sure whatever that is. Twitter for iPhone. I'm also going to share with you what I wrote. So this is what I wrote earlier today, about an hour ago apparently. And so this is what I said. Honestly, to stop backlash at Rockstar for remastering GTA 5 for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X slash S. Every year, a parent lets their child play a game for the first time. They end up with a Series X slash S or PS5 doing the version of the game. Same thing with PS4 slash Xbox One owners. So fucking mad that people think be ready and yelling at Rockstar will make GTA 6 somewhat quicker. Look at what happened to Cyberpunk. Do you want that? I first think that this gen will be the last GTA remaster you're getting a fresh game, most likely in the next 10 years from Rockstar, I will be making a YouTube video on this later today, henceforth where we are now. And I kind of want to share with you this, again, so according to Rockstar developer, there's going to be like some sort of announcement on April 28th, today is the 28th, I'm not sure if you can see my hotbar, but there's something right here that says 210428, and as far as I'm concerned, I don't think I've gotten like the notification yet. Nope, all I've got is Twitter and Wish. So, yeah, Rockstar developer here just heard that GTA. Yeah, so, again, 4chan isn't exact. I don't know much about 4chan or the GTA 5 leaks. All I do know is that when there's something big like on cons on the console form, is all hop on the boat to think to see about it. And that kind of brings us to where we are now. So, so if I take a look at my phone and find out how many times some people have bought the game, and this is only an assumption. So, if you own the Xbox 360, PS3, Xbox One, PS4, Xbox Series X slash S, and PS5 and PC, if you've all owned those consoles, you would have purchased your game. One, two, three, four, five, six. You would have purchased the game seven times. That is ridiculous. So that's like what once for each console. Personally, I'm not sure which console I'm gonna get it on. If it turns out this to be a PS5 exclusive, even if it's just a timed exclusive for a little bit, I will just pre-order the first console it's on. So it doesn't matter if it's Xbox first or PS5 first. I'll pre-order which one comes quicker and which one has the cheaper option. I might actually just end up drawing on PlayStation 5 because, well, I wanted to see what the game would look like with max specs. <laughs> and that kind of brings me to where I am right now making this video. So, again, I do not like the backlash. I do personally think that the PS5 is 
PS5 and Series X and S are probably going to be like the last version of GTA 5 released. And if I had to give an estimate, I'd say within like at least the next 10 years, we would see GTA 6 at some point in the next couple of years. That is all I'm going to say for now. I do not have any legitimate proof that the game does exist. For all we know, it could still very well be early in development. So we might not end up seeing this like 2030, like Cyberpunk, because that game was in development for what, like 10 years and still turned out like a buddy glitchy game. Just those so you pressure fans into something, well, you pressure a company into something, it's not going to work. So if they end up having to release the game like next year or this year, it's probably going to be, it's more than likely going to be full of bugs, glitches, probably will crash every time. Just give it like, I don't know, like 10 years and let's see what happens then. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and goodbye.